All right, folks, this is a tutorial on how to embed your Libra text open educational resource directly into your Canvas shell so that your students do not even have to click out to read your textbook. This right here is a Canvas shell that we have created. We don't know if we're going to finish it, so our faculty here are not huge fans of having to go through an entire course if we can find ways to meet their needs without having to go through a massive course. But here it is so far. So you see all the different modules in here. This is the home page. If I wanted to embed an OER directly in this course, we need to have the file downloaded from the actual OER repository where it's being housed. LibreText has a lot of really awesome options once it publishes for you. So this is one that recently came out. This is a critical thinking book that was created by our Kalinga College English faculty. You can see it was moved from the workbench to the Kalinga College bookshelf in the LibreText Humanities bookshelf. And when this happened, you get an option for a full book download where you can download the PDF. Under downloads, you can download a full PDF, you can import into LMS, you can do an individual zip file, you can buy a printed copy, which is really exciting. A lot of folks think that OER means it has to be digital, and this is not true. We can print OER at cost, meaning it's at the cost of printing. And you could also just get a print book file if you have access to a printer locally. So what we are gonna do is get an import into LMS option. So if you click this, You'll notice right up here, it immediately opened it up. And for me, it came in, let me see if I drag it here so you can see it, as an IMSCC file. Okay, and it's just titled, titled LibreText 2. So I then, now that I've downloaded that, I go over to my Canvas course. And on the home page, you go over to Import Existing Content. And you select a type of content. This is going to be a Canvas course expert export package and then you choose the file and for me i know that it was in downloads it just happened right here i can check the date it just happened right here and you hit open now i recommend if you're doing this regularly label your file exactly what the oer is since i'm just doing a demo here i'm not really worried about it but usually label your file and then put them all somewhere safe or delete them after one of the two now you hit open and then you have to choose all content or specific content. I'm just going to choose all content. And then you hit import. Now, I've done this a couple other times. You can see I've done other ones here. And it's saying that it's queued. So you have to wait for it to be fully embedded and, and pulled up. Usually it takes just a couple minutes. So see, it says running now. Awesome. Okay. These right here were ones that I've done in the past for past demos and then deleted. So once it's running, you're good to go. You just watch it. It says it's completed. And you're like, well, where's my book? Go back to your modules. It's reloading it. So these are all of the original modules that we had here. But if you scroll down, here's the book right here. This is our entire book. And what's cool about this is you can click and drag them into whatever modules you want. But here it is. Here's our actual book right here. You can scroll through. So the students, without ever having to leave, your Canvas course, they can now read your text fully embedded in your Canvas course. And what's even better about this, you can now decide where you want these to be. So say you're like chapter one actually goes up here. It goes in between the first modules. You can just click and drag it up. Okay, put it up here. So you've got modules of critical thinking. Say it goes in your module zero for some reason. My module zero is very long. Let's try, say it goes into this module one, okay? You can just click and drag sections of it in. And say you're like, after a couple sections, you might want to add in a knowledge check underneath it. So you could add in a knowledge check, a little quiz, to basically make sure that they're actually reading the content and not just skimming it. So you would just add in a little quiz here, right? So say you wanted a knowledge check, you could go to a quiz, you can go to create a new quiz, you could call it reading knowledge Knowledge check, okay. Knowledge check, hit add item. And now you have a knowledge check after they've read these two items and you could make it required or not, up to you. And that is a way that basically you could click and drag, okay, maybe a couple more. Some people do all knowledge checks at the end. Maybe you have a lecture in here. Maybe you want them to do a discussion post halfway through. 
you now have the full book completely embedded in your LMS in such a way that students do not have to click out to read the book. They are still in your Canvas course reading this book from start to finish. You can add in knowledge checks, you can add in discussion questions or other things in between. It makes it very user-friendly and it also allows you to add in ancillary or supplemental content as you need. So that is how you embed an LMS integration from LibreText into a Canvas LMS. Good luck, folks, and I believe in you.